probably going to need a, a different pair of shoes today and even tomorrow because it is going to be a little slushy this afternoon and then wet tomorrow. Uh, Look at outside this morning. It's been dry for most of us. We've had a few flurries around, but really the fog has been the issue in addition to some slick roadways from the recent snowfall that we had sitting at 25 right now. Temperature wise, we are are uh, below the freezing mark. So again, where the recent snowfall happened yesterday, you are going to find some slick roads. Now fog is going to be an issue south of 80 and then in northwestern Iowa. Visibilities have gone down a little bit. The metro around four, not so bad up in north and eastern Iowa. So if your travel plans are any of those areas today, just allow yourself some extra time. It'll stay cloudy, but dry through the afternoon as we approach between about 33 and 35 for the afternoon high. So like I mentioned, could get a little slushy there during the afternoon. Everyone's pretty quiet right now. The big weather story will be the system that's coming out of the uh, west. This is going to cross the Rockies grid, uh, get some Gulf moisture with it, and we're going to see the rainfall really becoming widespread tomorrow for most of the state. Couple things happening here. It's a spring like system. Northern Iowa could see a wintry mix out of this versus central and southern Iowa. We're expecting more all rain out of this. So hour by hour today and tonight stays mainly cloudy and dry. Could see some drizzle overnight and then that uh, system starts to make its way in. Even a few thunderstorms potentially coming in for tomorrow, especially south of Interstate 80. That wintry mix, including light icing, changing to snow in northwestern Iowa. So here's one o'clock tomorrow. Midday is just going to be wet. Again, if you're going to be out and about tomorrow, you want to make sure to have the umbrella handy, the rain gear, and again, maybe a change of shoes or socks because it is going to be a slushy wet day. Now, colder air Wraps in behind this system could see some morning snow showers on Sunday. Other than that, I think we're going to stay mainly dry coming into Sunday. It turns brisk and uh, windy. Colder air again will stick around there for Sunday and Monday. So rain tracker models have kind of going back and they're updating uh, uh, anywhere from about three quarters of an inch to an inch potentially of rainfall. Now north, it's going to be some snow for you anywhere from about one to three inches. But keep in mind that you may have some uh, freezing rain mixed in with that as well. So again, slick conditions, and that's why we have that winter storm watch for our far northern counties. That does include uh, Kasuth County. I'll go in and you're included in that one. So eight day forecast for tomorrow. Wet, windy on Sunday and dry Monday. Cool. And then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, that next system comes in. It's going to bring us more wet weather, potentially a little rain snow mix on Tuesday and on Wednesday, Rhea.